One of the most popular and powerful functions, especially at the start of real analysis, is the absolute value function. Here it is, if you've never seen it before, we denote the absolute value with these vertical bars around x, and it's defined as this piecewise function. It's just x if x is greater than or equal to zero, and it's minus x if x is less than zero. It's used to describe the size or the magnitude of a real number. For real analysis, we have plenty of nice little facts about the absolute value function. Here they are, number one. And you can prove all of these, by the way. I don't think I'll prove all of them for you, but you can do it based only on this definition. Number one, the absolute value of x is always greater than or equal to zero. It's always at least zero. Very nice to know. And the absolute value of x is zero if and only if goes both ways, x is equal to zero. You can prove this by writing out some, some math, some lines, but I mean, it is pretty obvious just looking at the definition. I mean, you're only going to get the absolute value of x being zero when you plug in zero for this function. And if x was positive, you're gonna get a positive result. If x was negative, you negate the negative. So it's always going to be positive. Number two. The absolute value of minus x is the same thing as the absolute value of x. And this is for every single x in the real numbers. Very nice to know. You can just get rid of that negative like that if you like. Number three, no doubt you will use this in a real analysis class. The absolute value of a product is the product of absolute values for every single x and y in the real numbers. Number four, this is also a good one to know. The absolute value of a square? Well, you don't really need those absolute values, do you? Squaring would make it positive. This is true for all real numbers. Number five, less known. The absolute value of x is less than or equal to y if and only if, this goes both ways, x is between minus y and positive y. So these are equivalent statements. And this is often how you actually solve absolute value equations when you're doing things like pre-calculus. And number six here, definitely less known. Minus absolute value of x is less than or equal to regular x is less than or equal to absolute value of x for every real number. Good to know, in other words, take any real number, it can't exceed its absolute value, and it can't be lower than minus its absolute value. So these are very nice statements. We'll use these in proofs. Now click the link on the screen to watch the next video in the Real Analysis course.